I've gotten really some new Stream Deck updates, which allow you to interact more with your OBS. So this is how it actually looked like with the scenes, audio mixer, record, stream, and source. But if we're gonna update it, we do that by clicking on here and then check for updates. We install the update. Now we've updated and we see OBS and we have record, record plus, stream. We've got a lot more options here now. Okay, so what does this mean? Record. Record is just recording in OBS where you normally have that start recording button. Uh, that's what this does. So if we click on here, we can make sure that we start recording by this button. We can also pause the recording by clicking on this button. Deleting them by right click and then delete. Stream, this starts your stream. So if you want to, we can make a multi-action with record and stream and it will start recording and streaming at the same time. Replay buffer. Okay, so for the replay buffer, we have to go to settings here. And then we go to output. If you can't see this screen, make sure that you set your output mode on advanced. Then we click on replay buffer and we enable the replay buffer. Here we can set how long we want the replay buffer to be. This is how long the clip is going to be. So let's say 60 seconds. This will be a clip of 45 MB it says. Okay, we can apply and okay. So what happens is you will get a start replay buffer here. If it's not appearing, restart OBS and it will reappear. For me, it didn't immediately appear, so I did have to restart OBS. And now if you start this replay buffer, it starts recording the next 60 seconds. And then when there's a second over it, we got 61 seconds, the last second will be removed. So it will only save the last 60 seconds of what just happened. And then if we click on the button in the stream deck, it says replay buffer. This is turning it on and off and here we can save it. So if we click on this button now, it will save the 60 seconds that we had in the replay buffer. You can find those replay buffers in the same place as the recordings you're making. Then we have scene collections here. You can switch between scene collections. If you don't know what a scene collection is, I definitely recommend watching this video about scene collections and I talk a little bit more about it. Scene, uh, that's just from one scene to another. I think we already had that. <laughs> Source visibility. So we can toggle something from being seen or seen. So basically the eyes go on and off and you can see them or not see them. Then audio mixer. We can interact with none of our audio sources in OBS like that. Media source control. This uh, makes sure that you can pause and stop a video or pause and play or pause and restart or just stop a video. So if you have a longer video that you play in OBS, you can interact with that with the stream deck now. Studio mode. This will activate the studio mode. So we got studio mode here. This is what we have in program. This is the preview. You can also transition this from this side to the other side. But the preview, we can basically switch scenes without it actually switching in the program. So in the live stream. So this is a really neat option. So it's really great to be able to activate that with the stream deck now. Then we have preview to program. This is the left side. If you are doing something, you can immediately switch that to the live stream by pressing this button. This is something that professionals use often. They will preview something and then switch it to live. And that's how you can do that yourself. You can also change filters. So for example, if you have a filter in your microphone that makes you sound like high pitch or low pitch, you can trigger those with this button now, or you can put them in a multi-action to trigger them with, I don't know, some funny graphics around it. Then we have screenshot here. With this button, we can make a native screenshot in OBS of the thing you're streaming, your streaming output. And transition, we can transition from one page to another one. We can have a cut, fade, stinger, swipe, or uh, another transition here. We can set a different transition. So this is basically how it looks like when you go from one scene to another scene in OBS. I think this is a very huge update for the Stream Deck because this allows you to do so much more with OBS. And I really, really like that. I do have a whole playlist about the Stream Deck right here. But I definitely want to send you to this video because this video explains to you how you can make memes pop up by pressing on your stream deck. And you know, we all need memes in life.